Praise the Lord. Reason number four, to put on Christ, we must be baptized in his death and burial. Romans 6, third chapter, I'm sorry, Romans 6 chapter, verse 3 through 6. John chapter 3, verse 5. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. We are all children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. But as many of you that have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 through 27. If the above scriptures are true, then the only way we can put on Christ is to be baptized into him. Now, the above has reference to the baptism of the Spirit, which puts you into the spiritual body of Christ. But pray, how shall we receive the baptism of the Spirit? Peter beautifully answered that question on the day of Pentecost in Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We identify ourselves with Christ and his death, conversion, burial, baptism of water, resurrection, baptism of the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into his death. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Romans chapter 6, verses 3 through 6. The mode of sprinkling people for baptism was never the practice of the apostle and has no foundation in the holy in, in holy writing. Jesus said, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now to be born of things, you must first be conceived, and that which is conceived is covered or hidden. Then to be born of water, one must be conceived of water, which cannot be unless one is immersed in and then born from the water. Amen. <laughs>